Okay, in the next uh, couple series of videos here, I'm going to go over some problems that I want my students to review before they take their IB exam in May. Um, first one here, we're going to go over a chi-square problem. This, there's always one of these on paper too, and it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, this, this should be some easy points for you. So let's look at it. the table of observed results gives the number of candidates taking a mathematic examination classified by gender and grade obtained. Okay, so you have males and females, you have six or seven, four or five, one, two or three. Okay, so um, the thing you want to take out of this is, um, you know, you have, what, uh, 90 males, 110 females, 200 total. Okay, so that, that's important. Um, now, it says the question poses whether gender and grade obtained are independent. Okay, that's why you do a chi-squared test to test for dependency. Okay, so show that the expected number of males achieving a grade of 4 or 5 is 49.5. Okay, so we have males uh, and uh, 4 or 5. Okay, so the way you do this is just take the totals of, e, you know, the column here and the row here. Okay, and then all we're going to do is divide it by this total. So this is how you get your expected um, values. Okay, so in this case we would do 110 times 90 divided by 200. Okay, so if we were to break out the calculator and, you know, 110 times 90 divided by 200, we would get 49.5. So there you go. That's You just have to show the work there. So it's 49.5. Whoa, 49.5. Wee, 49.5. Okay. So um, that's pretty simple. So just, you know, if we wanted to find the expected value of, let's say, you know, of each one of these, you would do, you know, 74 times 90 divided by 200, 74 times 110 divided by 200. On your project, you would actually, if you're doing a chi-squared test, you would go through each one of these. <coughs> okay. So what's the next question? Okay, right, a chi-squared test is set up at a 5% significance level. State the null hypothesis. Well, in this case, what, what are we talking about here? We're talking about um, gender, and we're talking about um, their uh, results, okay? So their grades. So in, you know, the null hypothesis, you just put H sub 0 equals um, gender and the grade awarded are independent. So we are going to go through and prove this. Okay, so they're independent. Okay, now state the number of degrees of freedom. Okay, well you can all put this in your calculator, but the way you do degrees of freedom is you count the number of um, it's rows minus one times columns minus one. So in this case there's two rows, so it'd be two minus one, and then there's um, three columns, one, two, three. Be careful not to count the total rows. Okay, so um, that would be 3 minus 1, so you get 1 times 2, which is 2. So your degrees of freedom here are uh, 2. Okay, now write down the chi-squared value. Okay, the chi-squared value, um, well, let's, let's do this in the calculator, okay? It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so if we're going to do this, um, you know, you just clear it out, go to second uh, matrix, and we're going to go and edit a matrix, okay? And in this case, this metric matrix is going to be two by three. So I'll just put two uh, times uh, times. Whoa, not twenty-three. Ooh, two. Uh, delete that. Two times three. Okay, and we'll just enter it in. Um, so it's going to be thirty-four. And again, you don't enter in the totals. So thirty-four and fifty and six and forty and sixty and 10. Okay. And okay, so then once we're done with that, we can go to stat, we'll go to calculate over and um, to test. Okay, so and just arrow up, it's going to we're going to do the chi squared test, which is C right here. So just press enter. Um, observe expected. So what it's going to do in matrix A is where we wrote our observed and matrix B, what it's going to do is it's going to give us all our expected values. Okay, so we can calculate this. And our chi-squared value is 0 0.3995, or 
zero if we're going to do it to three significant figures. Okay, so our chi-squared value here, um, you know, is point, uh, you know, four zero zero. Okay, um, now what? Let's see what else they ask. The critical value is. Um, 5.991, what can you say about this? Okay, now this this value we get right here, okay, is really important. If this is less than this, we accept the null hypothesis. So we go 0 0.400, is that less than 5.991? And it is, yes. So what we would say here, um, what can you say about gender and grade obtained? Well, gender and grade obtained are independent, okay? So, you know, every single problem they do like this are all pretty much the same, okay? You go through the same things. You need to be able to, what do you need to be able to do in these problems? You need to be able to, you know, um, show the degrees of freedom, okay? And that's just, you know, um, rows minus one times columns minus one. You need to be able to show the expected value and that is just you know um, the column uh, times the row over the total okay um, you know so if you were looking at you know you know whatever you know boys girls um, you know volleyball football I don't know, swimming, you know, something like this, um, 20, 30, 40, that would be, what, 90, um, 10, 40, I don't know, 50, <coughs> 100, which would be 190, 90, 70, you know, um, <clears throat> and 30. So, you know, if I wanted to find the expected values of boys who play volleyball, I would just take, you know, this total right here, 30, times, you know, that one, 90, over 190. <clears throat> I think you get the point there. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. So, um, you know, you need to show the expected value. Okay. And um, what else? Um, calculate the chi-square on your calculator. Okay. And so, you know, again, that's just you go to matrix you go to second matrix and look now I have two two by three there's all my expected values right there and you, see how we can see 49.5 that was the one we did earlier in the problem okay and then you just have to make a comparison at the end okay so if the chi squared is less than the um, the critical value um, you accept the null hypothesis okay h sub 0. If the chi-squared value is greater than the critical value, um, you accept the alternative hypothesis, and the alternative hypothesis is h sub 1, and that would be that the two, um, two factors are dependent. Okay? Um, and that's pretty much all they wrote on those. Um, the biggest mistake kids I see maker is this right here. Um, they, they misinterpret it, okay? So just, um, you know, remember when you get it like a low chi-squared value right there, like 0 0.400, you know, that you're going to accept the null hypothesis. And you can't, for a lot of these things, you can't just use logic, okay? Um, who knows if grades are in, in, and gender are related, but in this case, they're not. Okay, so anyway, that's just one of the things. I'm going to do one on probability. I'm going to do one on... Um, Oh, a bunch of different stuff. I can't remember off the top of my head. Venn diagrams, stuff like that. Um, and hope this helped you out. Um, take care. Have a good night.